How are you guys? Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack Show. And first of all, I just want to let you know that our sale where we're doing three hot barbecue and three Jamaican jerks, each for $10, is going to be ending soon. So take advantage of that. Grab yourself an order. As for the seasoning, you guys amaze me. I've never sold more seasoning than when we were sold out of it. We are currently sold out of it and we're changing manufacturers and we've removed it from the website and you guys still are writing it in. We want seasoning. It's not even a choice on the website, but you guys are writing in that you want the seasoning. So just hang in there. I will announce when we have our new load of seasoning done. But in the meantime, enjoy the sale because it's almost over with the Jamaican jerk and the hot barbecue. Now, so I'm at Sam's Club, right? And look what I found. Now, everybody knows Montreal steak seasoning, right? This is Montreal chicken seasoning. If you want me to do a video where I'm try this, I'm going to experiment with this. I can I'll just do a short little video, but it smells amazing. And Montreal steak se seasoning has been around for years. Montreal chicken seasoning just got released, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, maybe I've never seen it in my life. I'm shocked that I've never seen this. If this has been out longer than I thought, then sorry. But uh, if you want me to try this out and let you know what it tastes like, I'll let you know. All right? Today, though, we're doing a baking cooker. Why are we doing a baking cooker? I've done tons of baking cookers. Some have failed and some have succeeded very much so. So this one is nice and thin. It's for the microwave. And it can slide right on the side of the microwave. And you can use it anytime you want. I like it's lightweight, it's thin, it could fit right on top of a stack of plates. It could slide in right on the side of your microwave. I like this design here, but I don't know how it works. So we're gonna do really quick, we're gonna cook up some bacon. So come on close and I'll show you what we're gonna do first. All right, so here it is, the Progressive Prep Solution. Is it Miracleware, is that what it says? Yeah. Miracle Wear. That's the baking cooker. We're going to open that in a second. We have our bacon. We have our paper towel that you're going to lay over the bacon. That's what it recommends. So we're going to follow its instructions. About a minute for each slice of bacon. Cook to your liking, though. That's what I do. You got to eyeball bacon. You can't just time it. Every microwave is different. Everybody's flavor profile is different on how they like their bacon cooked. So just keep cooking it until it's at the, the doneness that you like, all right? One of the things I can't stand about bacon cookers is they're not big enough to hold the whole pound of bacon. Now, the making bacon one that I did, that held the whole pound of bacon. There are a few that can. So make sure before you buy a bacon cooker that it can hold a whole pound of bacon. This one can't. So we've got it filled with bacon. We're going to put our paper towel over it. Just like that. And then we're going to take the lid. I guess you're going to do that, right? Just cover it up and put it in the microwave. All right, here we go. Make sure you use an oven mitt when you pull it out. It's still hot. Let's see what we got here. Put this right here. Here's the protective paper towel. Look, the protective paper towel attaches some of the bacon, that's not cool. But the, it did catch the grease away from it. Now this is uncured, unsalted bacon. There we go. There we go. That caught most of the grease in the paper towel. So we're gonna crumble that up. It looked like I cooked it perfect. I did a minute per piece, about six minutes. All the grease is caught in the, in the tray. There's no grease on the bacon. It looked like I cooked it perfect. I did a minute per piece, about six minutes. All the grease is caught in the, in the tray. There's no grease on the bacon. So let's talk about the good and the bad, okay? The bad is it's, you can do a whole pound of bacon like on a cookie sheet in the oven. A lot of you do that. You put foil down, you lay out all your bacon, you can cook it all at once. This device isn't for a whole pound of bacon, okay? This device is if you have just you and your husband or something, you want to cook a couple pieces of bacon. This will cook it in the microwave. You don't have to eat up the house. 
summer's coming and the last thing you want to do is heat the house up, right? So um, this is quick and easy. A minute per slice worked beautifully. Uh, pulls the grease away. That was a positive. And has a lid to protect any splattering. So we didn't get any splashing in our microwave. All right, so now let's see how it did. Got some crispy bacon, by the way. Mm-hmm. This is for people if there's only two of you. You might want to grab a device like this. This does work good. I also recommend the making bacon still. Still one of our leaders it holds a whole pound of bacon. You pop it in the microwave and you're good to go. All right? Mmm. I think I'm having breakfast. Whoop. Mmm. I think it's time for me to make some eggs to go with this bacon. All right? I love you guys. Let me know what products you want me to review. All right? And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.